Hey, welcome to uh, Cumber, Northern Ireland. Um, I was thinking about a tutorial for you guys to learn today. A lot of you asking me about a uh, thing I did on Instagram where I put my hand into my hat and teleported it through to grab a scone on the table. Um, so I thought, as you can see in the thumbnail, I created one for you guys. You can actually put your hand through, teleport, and grab a beer. So let's get into that now. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a few things. Um, for this one, I'm obviously pouring a beer into a glass. That's what my over what my overall image to look like. You need uh, a couple of different options for your hand to be going into. So it can be either a, a hat or a pot plant or a bucket or something. Whatever you decide, I'm going to use hats. Um, and something to rest your phone up against. So here I have my uh, iPhone. I'm going to rest up against this glass to act as my tripod and my stabilization. So let's get into that. So now just to rearrange the uh, phone to be positioned where you can see. This is where I'll be standing over here. My glass where I want to be. My hat is angled so my arm is going to be coming out of this section here. On the hat pouring the beer in. So once again, I'm just going to take a quick shot of where it's going to be. And I'm going to go out. We're going to get into position since I'm um, on my phone and everything's over here and I'll be standing over there. The best way to get that actually to shoot on proper time with only just myself with no assistance or anyone helping is just use a timer. So I'll come in, set a timer up on my phone for 10 seconds, hit that, mark my position first of where I'm going to stand, maybe even taking a couple uh, shots before that. So come and mark a spot. Set up a timer, take a photo, go have a look at it, make sure everything is where I need to be. And then come and stand up in that exact same spot and I know that is where I'm going to be standing. Then go back over and hit the timer for the last time and then come back, take the shot, and you're good to go. When we're out here, and we have our hat, we want to aim the hat. Obviously, uh, if you want to, logo towards the camera. And then we want to have the hat, the hole, or your bucket or whatever you're going to use aiming towards you and you can bring your hand in you can take a photo like this and then have another one with your hand like this and photoshop more out of it seems like a lot of work you can actually bring your hand in and curve it around like this inside the handle bucket it gives you the illusion that a lot of it's coming in if you have a hole at the back that's perfect you can even bring it in at the back like so you can even bring it in more so it gets right up to the arm but for this case all we're going to do is use the hat and bend my hand in so it's like this and I'm gonna look towards the camera like I'm aiming for my beer glass and that's how you're gonna make that hand disappear Now we've got our shots, we're going to go in and edit them, let me run you through all that now. Okay, so here we are now we want to start editing these up. We can see we've got open up both our images here in Photoshop, we've got both of them here, so you've got the one with me in the background with no arm, and then we've got our other image just here with my arm in the background with no hat and obviously no me, so we're going to merge these two together. You're going to go into one of your layers, or one of your images rather, and control click it and hit duplicate layer. Now we want to duplicate it to our other image, so we can close that now. And in your other image, 
you can see now that we've got both our layers there which we can switch between now we want to bring my arm into this image so we're going to go um, duplicate that layer and then we're going to leave it inside that same image we'll come back to that later just turn that off for now and we're going to put that in here then we're going to go over to our eraser and start erasing it in turn the um, size up and start erasing in whatever you need like all the arm and shadows and things now the reason you want to use a feathered edge eraser is because if we use a like a nice crisp edge it'll look too cut out and too clean we want to have a little bit more of a, a blur and you know, a feathered edge on the edge to make it look a little bit more realistic so here we're just going to come right into the edge of the hat right nice and close now you can see I've come over the edge of the hat here um, see around here but we actually want to fix that up so what we're actually going to do is that layer we duplicated earlier this one here you can see that we don't want to put it underneath that first layer because when you color that out it'll it'll stuff up your image and it won't do the proper as you can see there it won't fix in what you have stuffed up so you actually want to put it in behind the bottom background layer underneath there so we need to control click that one and layer from background and then throw it in behind the last image so now when we select our layer which we've come through with the, the arm in it we can actually erase out all those issues we had with where we missed it and gone wrong and this again is why we need the feathered edge so it blends a little bit more easy and nicer now over here it looks all looks pretty good we want to bring all these layers together but first we want to create a shadow on that arm so that it doesn't look completely photoshopped in we want to create a shadow for that hat uh, on the arm so we're going to go down here and select a or do new layer select a shape so maybe an ellipse it's best if it's black obviously for shadow now over here on your layer or your ellipse double click and bring up these layer style options and we just want to turn the opacity down just so it looks more like a shadow so obviously I'm down here at 28 that looks a little bit too light for a shadow so here you want to play with it and turn it up until it's as dark as you think you need for a shadow I'm going to click OK 50 looks pretty good um, so now we want to create a the shadow so again you trust the eraser make this a little bit bigger and we're just gonna cut out whatever we don't need to not or to make that shadow look like it's on coming from the hat onto the arm now if you want a nice softer edge you can actually turn the flow down so it's going to erase slower if that makes sense so you can make a bit more of a softer edge um, and there you go it looks like a bit more of a shadow now from the hat onto the arm now we're pretty happy with that everything looks nice and tidy everything's clean and crisp just check over your image before you merge all these layers together otherwise you can't undo it but you can but you have to undo quite a few steps so I'm just going to tidy up this hat If you ever make a mistake, just Control Z or go Edit Undo. All right, I'm pretty happy with all how that turned out. Everything looks nice. So we want to click our first image, and we just fix up the shadow. That's good. So you click your first image, hold in shift and click your last image and control merge layers. So it's going to create it all into one. Now we want to control click that layer again and duplicate layer. And obviously save it again on that same image that you've got open and okay. So now we've got two layers. We want to blur that background of me. So we want to go up into your filters, blur and Gaussian blur. Here we are at four pixels. You can take it up more and more more you blur the more blurred you're gonna get obviously 
um, I want a nice soft blur but you play around it with as much as you like I'm gonna do about four pixels now we want to change like obviously keep the foreground uh, unblurred so here we're gonna go up to the lasso tool the nice straight edges just this is easy for the table again with whatever you have um, you don't have to use a lasso tool if you don't have straight edges just use your eraser but I'm just gonna do this now to get a nice quick cut out of the table save a bit of time and cut it out and hit delete so there you go that front edge is all or the front table now is all in focus get rid of the marching tools you can just deselect now for the rest of the things we just want to erase that out so again I'm going to turn this up and we're just going to erase out everything we don't need to so the blur and we're going to get erasing something really nice and easy to do is come over to your layer that's blurred and double click on it because we, we want to see where we're erasing out so come down here to color overlay just choose a color I'm going to choose red and uh, that way I can see what I've erased and what I haven't erased out so we're going to change in here and we're just going to turn the opacity down a little bit just so we can see what's going on behind it and okay now we're just going to erase out all the options as you can see we can now see what we're erasing out so we're just going to erase everything we don't need Don't worry about getting really close to the edges because we can fix those up later. We're going to just going to change obviously the point size of your eraser down and we're going to fix those up in a second. But just for the meantime, just get rid of all that middle eraser or all that middle blur out and just keep erasing until it's all gone. So again now we want to turn that off so we're going to double click on our layer where it said color overlay just deselect it so now we get rid of our red and you can see here I'm now unfocused in the background we're out of focus geez obviously I'm glad I don't have photography um, and then everything else is going to be in focus so now we want to merge our layers together so again shift and select both your layers merge layers so now we've got our one image it's all done I'm gonna go back through and tidy this up now, but just so you can see this. And then now you wanna export it out um, to your phone. So just save it wherever and airdrop it if you need to, or however you're gonna get your image to your phone. Um, and then edit it up in Lightroom if you have Lightroom. If you don't, you can just edit it in whatever app you have on your phone or even just Instagram. Whatever you wanna do, you're good to post. Now, uh, obviously, I hate to say this, but you don't need beer. Um, beer is life, but if you're underage, like 18 or under 21 or something like that, uh, the best thing you could do is obviously use Coke or Fanta or another object like I did with a, a scone on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, get creative. I actually want you guys to come up with different objects to teleport, not just your arm, and uh, tag me in them. I'd love to check them out. So get busy, guys and girls. If any, any girls watching, probably not. Um, but thanks very much. Um, I'm off to go enjoy another beer in this beautiful Irish weather. Bye.